Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm making pork loin with a brown sugar and balsamic glaze. Now I'm gonna be making this in my crock pot. I know that Instapots are all the rage right now, but I don't have one and my crock pot has never failed me, nor has this recipe, which I found years ago on Pinterest. But it's one of those things where I've made it so many times through the years, making adaptations here and there that I don't know how closely this resembles the original recipe anymore, nor do I know where the original source came from so that I could give credit where credit is due. But anyway, if you're trying to find something to make for dinner and maybe you're in a rut, you feel like you make the same things over and over and over again, Again, um, try this recipe. I think you're really gonna like it and you're probably gonna add it to the list of things that you make regularly. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll get started. Here's what you're going to need. Pork loin or tenderloin, either one works for this recipe. I tend to go with pork loin because it has a little fat on it and I just think it comes out a little juicier when it cooks in its own fat. Uh, but again, either one is fine. You'll need some water, some salt and pepper, some coarsely chopped onion, and garlic. And then for the glaze, you'll need balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, cornstarch, and brown sugar. To start, I've already rinsed off my pork loin and patted it dry. I'm just going to season it. I'll heat a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil and I'm just going to quickly brown the pork loin on all sides to keep the juices locked in. Meantime, I'll turn on the crock pot to low and I'll put all my chopped onion in there. Once the pork loin is browned on all sides, I'll place it over the onions in the crock pot, fat side up. I'll add half a cup of water and put a few cloves of garlic on top and cover it up. And that's it. This is gonna cook on low heat for five to six hours so I can get on with the rest of my day. And then I'll come back later and make that glaze. Well, it's been about five hours and now it's time to make the glaze. And I gotta tell you, this has been a really productive day for me. I ran some errands, took care of business, but for my dog, Miley, it's been nothing but torture smelling that delicious pork cooking all day. So tonight I'll have to make sure to give her a little something extra special for dinner. Right now though, we're gonna make the glaze and all we need is a small saucepan and just four ingredients. Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, uh, one quarter of a cup balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons soy sauce, and then one tablespoon cornstarch, which is gonna thicken this up for us. I'm gonna put it in here, whisk it together over the stove top, and in just a few minutes, we'll have our glaze. You'll want to pour about half of that glaze over the pork for the final hour of cooking and reserve the rest for later. This should be done in another hour. Your cooking time will depend on the size. This pork loin was three and a half pounds, so unfortunately for Miley, it needs the full six hours of cooking time. Ooh, that's looking good. You'll know it's ready when the meat falls apart easily. Now put it in a dish, pour the remaining glaze on top, and you can serve it like this. Or you can place it in the oven like I'm going to do and broil it for a few minutes so that it gets a little crispy on top. Well, after about six hours, it's all done, and I did reserve just a little bit of the juice from the crock pot to pour on top, and you can just see how beautiful this is. I wish that you could smell it because it smells heavenly. Now I'm gonna be serving this with roasted potatoes and green beans for dinner tonight, but there's gonna be plenty left over. And what's so great about this is how versatile it is. So later on in the week, I can make sandwiches out of it. I can even uh, use this for tacos. It's just really wonderful. And you can see that it just falls apart so easily. So I'm just gonna get a quick little taste. It's moist and juicy, savory and sweet. You can taste the garlic and the brown sugar. 
I think you're really going to like this. Thanks so much for checking out my video. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of it or how you would make it in an Instapot. And as always, be sure to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours. Okay, Miley, okay. Here it is, here it is, it's extra special. Okay, Miley, sit. Good girl. That's mama's good girl.